This is the Universal Wrestling Podcast. Inside the ring. Outside the ring. It's all here. We're talking about the greatest sport of all, professional wrestling. Come on. And now, here's Nick and Keith. Yes, sir. We're back. We're back. Mama, where's the meatloaf? He's in the basement and it's all ready to go. Look at it, man. It is beautiful. It looks like a backdrop. No, 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 no. Keith worked hard. Blood, sweat, tears, maybe some tears. Oh, yeah. um, No, uh, yeah, for sure. There it is. A little bit. Yeah. Look at it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Buddy, what's up? Long time yeah, no see. How you doing? I know. I know. Thank you all for being so patient with us while this all, all this madness is happening. I'm good, man. This was uh, still, it's still a work in progress. It's mostly done, so I'm down here. But, uh, you know, I'm missing outlet covers in places still. I need more trim in the back part. And But yeah. I'm down here. It's so just This, this is what it's going to be from now on. But yeah, yeah man. You're rocking and rolling on your own projects too. Yes, keeping that. Not yes. as public as I have, but no, it's all sorts of transitions there, going on here in the UW yep. pod. Transition, yeah. <laughs> Keith, okay, you know, no politics. <laughs> Keith, we're back, and buy or sell is the theme of this yes. episode. We are going to buy or sell a wrestling topic. So, mm-hmm. what do you think? You ready? Yeah, let's jump in, man. Let's Might jump well. into the drunk the junk drawer and let's get the first topic. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Buy or sell Jay Uso's IC title reign, and it can be whatever you want. If you want to buy that you think it's legitimate or sell that it's not, yeah. or if you got something different with like buy and sell the competitors, or if he's being pushed, or is it all because of Rikishi complained and since it's the blood <laughs> since it's the bloodline, you can't mess the bloodline because it's on Friday, it's on or Monday, it's on right. Wednesdays, it's on um Thursday nights, it's on Wednesday with you know, it's just it's all yeah. over. So Keith. And then it pops up on Thursday when you see Solo Sokoa helping a lady with her bags on a Delta flight. Hmm. Oh, I did see that. That yeah. was cool. Yeah. It's so funny that he's just such like a polarizing wrestling superstar. And then when he's on the plane, he's just oh, yeah. an average guy that's in sweatpants <clears throat> and he's helping a woman. It's like, you know, maybe it's not whatever. But okay, buy or sell. Jay Uso's title reign. Take it away, baby. Let's hear it. So I it's this is like the toughest one out of any of these topics that we got going on here today for me because it's like on the one hand it's you know it's got to be on the one hand it's got to be a buy because it's like you know it, it's the stuff we talk about with like wrestling all the time of like people that find their way to get themselves over they get over the crowd loves them the crowd support and they ignore it and whatever and the old regime would and maybe the new regime would too in some situations and everything and all this so like we finally got this where like they didn't ignore it, <clears throat> you know, as much as it isn't my favorite thing by any means, the ye, ye, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the yeah. target audience for it and that's fine. So it's not my favorite thing in the world, but like, you know, you can't deny a crowd and, you know, I saw it at WrestleMania on night one, everyone just, yeah, ye. you know, like it's, <laughs> he's there, he's, it's ye. there, it's happening. Ye. So yeah. like, all right, you gotta, you know, you gotta capitalize on it. So it's gotta be a buy from that standpoint. But like at the same time, for me, yeah, yeah, I almost feel like it's just like a, I'm kind of like on the sell for it because I'm not that target audience because I'm like, you know, it's kind of a whatever thing to me. Like it's it, it almost feels like, you know, not to take away from like Kofi's legacy, talking more about him later, but it's like, it's almost like when they gave Kofi the run with the, with the WWE title, like, yeah, the crowd was behind him and everything. And it was almost like a, yeah, you did it. Here's like your, your consolation prize for it. Um, I think that's, that's not the right thing to say really either. Cause I don't really believe that about that. Yeah. I think it's more, the biggest thing for me is that it's Jay is just not my, his whole, everything my that and all isn't my cup of tea. Yeah, and I don't. I don't love that it came at the expense of Breaker. Really. Yeah, you know. Um, so you're selling that portion too. Yep, I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm. I'm a half by half sell on this one. Yeah, I'm well, haggling. I mean, a lot. put it that way. I'm haggling yeah. a lot. <laughs> Again, rumors are rumors, and rumors are yeah. huge in the W or the wrestling industry. He did something backstage that maybe Trips didn't like. That's what I've heard. I don't know. Obviously, again, rumors are rumors, but I'm with you. You gotta buy it, but then again, it's it's hard not to sell it. Um, Yeeting is not my cup of tea, and I think it's just cringeworthy when uh, 
Tessator and Bad News say it. And it's just like, uh, and there's a sign yeah. behind them. And Tessator is like, hey, look at this. We're eating all day. It's like, okay. But um, yeah. My, my yeah. spiel here is you can hate the system. You can hate the game. You can hate the internet. But this is what we wanted. Now, selling it. Was it, you know, did we wait too long? Did this happen, you know, four or five months before or right. after it really should have happened? Right. I don't know. I don't have a crystal ball. If I did, I wouldn't be here sitting with you. No, I'm kidding. Um, but um, <laughs> no offense taken to that. I was going to say, yeah. if I had it, I wouldn't be in this basement. I'd have a legitimate yeah. studio in a giant house that I own. I would be with you. And we'd be doing that. this every day because yes. I wouldn't be working. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still a little rusty. I got to realize that. Oh, well, good, man. <laughs> be mean to my co host. No, it's fine. It's not but mean I'm, at all. It's just the truth, yeah. bro. We need to, you know, we'd be doing yeah. way better than this. Anyway. I would be in Fiji drinking from the waterfall. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. I'm not talking about fucking eating all night. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I think it's all the house hours. Yeah, right. Um, sniffing all the uh, asbestos the on the floor. Fumes. That's another day, and that's another time. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm buying the concept of Jay finally capturing yeah. the singles title, and I'm selling the the system and the game and the the writers and the For backstage sure. because this was too long. We waited too long, and it's not it's not a it's still yeeting, but it wasn't as big as you know. The, like a yeet movement or the yes movement or the Kofi mania. Like when they did that, that was perfect time, perfect opportunity. And it was perfect. So. Yeah. It's great from the spot of like, he's getting what he like ultimately earned for himself. Yeah. I just don't love like the circumstances when it happened. Yeah. It. Yeah. Rikishi complained on a podcast two weeks later. Jay Which, told yeah, him the title like, and that, bronze. Didn't, that didn't help things either. Like, if anything, no. to me, that like hurt it a lot. Is like if if Rikishi hadn't even opened his mouth, that might be like, all right, this yeah. feels like a little bit better. But then it's like, uh, nah. well, yeah. Well, I mean, Triple H at, because he framed him for hitting the rock with a car. Yeah. Well, if you, <laughs> yeah, I did it for Rikishi. Um, <laughs> If you look at it, we are Philly fans, and we always say Harper yeah. is the GM. Whatever Harper wants, he's going to get. Whatever the bloodline wants, Keith, they're going to get. Like right. we said, they're on Monday, they're on Tuesday, they're on Wednesday, they're on Thursday. The Rock, Usos. I mean, it's just yeah, they got like a man on the board. What are you going to do? You're going to say right. no, Rikishi. We're not going to give Jay, even though he deserves it. And we've been on this topic for ten minutes, but you know, it's <laughs> let's get to the drunk junk drawer. Oh wait. Another bloodline member. Exactly. There's so much to talk about with the bloodline. In the junk drawer. And now the rock returning again and again and again and again and again. I think I know where you're going to go here and I'm going to let you go, baby. Buy or sell. Yeah, this is a hard, this is a hard sell for me. Uh, I'm, I, I, is it the same thing as not your, is it the same thing as it's not your cup of tea or are you tired? No, Let's hear it. no, it's more just, I, I have said time and time again, if you're new, if this is the first UW pod or anything you're watching of us, go look at other videos and you can hear me say it. If this isn't your first one. You know that I've said it in so many other videos way back in the past, the rock, the rock never really needed to be a part of this. I know I was one of the people that was clamoring for like, Oh, rock Roman and everything. And that I, I, yeah, that is a good one-off match to be had at some point. And I get that for that to happen, he has to be around and everything. But yeah. just, uh, you know, I yeah. I don't know. The the showing up at the end of Bad Blood was weird. I like it didn't yeah. I don't <clears throat> I don't really know what that accomplished in any way. Um because I really don't see, I do still think we're ultimately leading toward old bloodline versus new bloodline for um, war games. And that's fine. Mm. But I don't really see The Rock as like this part timer, part of the board and everything. I don't see The Rock getting into a war games match. No. That's just not, you know, he's not, he's not that guy anymore. He never really was that guy to be in like the crazy hardcore sort of matches and stuff. Yeah. But like. You know, <clears throat> he's not the one coming in <clears throat> getting kendo stick between the ropes or anything. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, it's just like I don't know. I, it's there's probably so much of this that's just like like marred by that 
goddamn WrestleMania documentary. Like yeah. any sort of like goodwill that I had toward the rock being back and everything all just completely went up in flames after watching that friggin' documentary and yeah. just, you know, Oh, we planned plan these things. It's like, no, you didn't. You didn't yeah. plan any of this. You tried to bigwig yourself in and we all shat on it. And now you're yep. just trying to make it seem like you're these geniuses and you're yeah. not. No, so shut up and sit down. We, we basically made him the final boss because we did not like what he was doing. So he turned, I guess, heel. But he's always been a dickhead. This is how I feel about the, this yeah. this whole situation. I don't give a f- fair enough. Don't give a. F- I don't exactly. I yeah. don't care Take that he Please. was in the the big UFC movie, and you know that's going to debut soon. I don't care that he's on the board. I just, I, I don't know. Cause like if someone from that era, like a Godfather, but that he's too likable. Um, it's, it's going to be difficult to find someone similar to the rock, but what I'm saying is, is someone that returns, it's like, Oh wow. I haven't seen this guy in forever, but I think it's return after return after return. And it's the same thing. It's him walking out, sniffing his <laughs> in the air and, <clears throat> Walk into the X because now we know that he has to walk directly to the uh, yeah. the middle of the Titan Tron because that's the best spotlight. From what you said, the documentary, it just yeah, it just every it's like you don't need to walk to five you don't need to walk five yards, two steps backwards, upside down, left hand on right hand. It's just like just walk out there, smell the air, and walk right. back. But and then it's even the title. It's like Muhammad oh, Ali. The- who, Muhammad, who was it? Tyson. I don't know. Whoever was associated with WrestleMania for WrestleMania three or four, they're in the Hall of Fame. So it's one of the boxers that was that was associated or something. That's yeah, another yeah. thing. You know, like us holding the title, that's cool. That's understandable. The Rock holding a fake title that means absolutely nothing. It's like, what are we doing? What yeah. what is this? You didn't win that. You know, it's it just doesn't yeah. make any sense. Mm-hmm. And I'm with you. Seeing the backstage shit's like, well, if you're going to connect the dots, nothing was planned, and you forced Trip's hand. That rhymed. Um, yeah, it was good. <laughs> but and I forget what I was going to say. Keith, go ahead. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, it's just it, it boils back. It, it boils down to man that like nostalgia. Nostalgia is only good when you give it a chance to become nostalgia. So it's like, Good point. that's yeah. Bad. When the Rock showed up, when the Rock showed up for the build to WrestleMania, yeah, we didn't necessarily. I, I didn't necessarily want it to be that and like taking it away from Cody because we wanted the story to be finished. But like, yeah, you know, it was still. Oh man, like it's the Rock. Holy crap! We never thought he was going to come back because he left and made such a big name for himself and everything. So it was like, why would he come back? There's no read for him too. So it was like awesome to see it. But then it's just like, all right, yeah. well, now he's here and now he's involved in this thing and then he's in this match and he's involved. He's he's in the main event night one. He's he's literally yeah. involved. He's big involvement in the in the main event on night two. And he's got all these ending, you know, ending shots of how many weeks of TV leading up to it and everything, yeah. which is awesome for like money the money that they're making. And exactly, yeah. you know, but then it's just like. What you see in the, I, yeah. Yeah, like, I, you know, I don't know. I feel like. I get that they're building to having him involved in some way, most likely in a match at 41, and that's fine. You don't have to bring him back in October for that. Mania is not until April at the earliest. Bring him back at the Rumble. You know, yeah. to me, that would have been a bigger thing. We have, because then it's like we haven't seen him since, you know, we yeah. haven't seen him in almost a year at that point. We wouldn't have, have seen him until since the end uh, or the, the whatever, the Raw after Mania. Yeah. Or whatever it was when he when they you know he gave the watch back to Cody or the whatever it was back to Cody and left. Yeah. He hadn't seen him since then. So cool. And then you just have the rumble go on, and then you know entry number thirty. If you smell like dude, walk to the this is going to blow up. Yeah. Exactly. You give you know you have you it know, as, as the thirty return for the rumble. Let him get eliminated by some nonsense. Yeah. Whatever you know. I, but yeah. And anyway. in these situations, uh, I ask myself. WWVD. What would Vince do in this situation? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. I just, I just know that I don't like The Rock, and I don't like this idea of The Rock. And 
I think again, it's we're of age where it's like, dude, no one likes you in Hollywood. You know, you pissed in the last movie set. You pissed on, you pissed in a bottle, and it's just like you were hard to work with. And it's just like, okay, well then, what do you do? You go back to what you know. You go back to your roots. And now we don't even, well, not we, but the UW Pod is, is selling the rock, and we just, you know, it is what it is. Okay, yeah. All other topics do not associate. I guess maybe <laughs> the next one, but other than that, do not associate with the bloodline. So let's go in the drunk, the junk drawer, and let's get the next topic. Here we go. Buy or sell Ko and Cody's oh, yeah. feud. This was cool. This was kind of like a TMZ version of the WWE, where oh, yeah. it didn't happen on air. It didn't really. I, was it after Bad Blood? Yeah, it was after yeah. Bad. Blood. It happened on social media, which is cool because it's just like you don't know. You don't know in exactly those hours of watching TV. And then it goes viral because, you know, you got the kiddos thinking, oh, shit, this might be real. You know, it's right. still real to me. Damn it. Damn it. Um, you got those, you know, you got th- that that demo saying, oh, shit, this is awesome. You got us where it's like, OK, this is this is different. I like it's this. Unique. this exactly. Great. Unique New York, unique New York. Yes, it was uh, unique for sure. Maybe this should have been the Bad Blood pay per view, but uh, we're not reviewing the Bad Blood pay per view um, for good reasons. Um, I am buying this, and I just I love it. Uh, I mean, we got one of the biggest, if not the biggest, KO fan on the East Coast, and that's why I'm going to let you go second because you are going to say a lot about this. Um, Anytime it's Cody and KO, it's just going to be great. And then you put it together. It's like, oh, my God, that's my cup of tea. That's my cup of coffee. That's my espresso. That's my iced tea. That's my anything but water. You know, that's that's what I want. That's what I need. And it's just it's going to be it's going to be phenomenal just because they have that passion. They have that, you know, what's next? Let's do it. Let's, you know, like Sammy, for instance, like whatever he does, it's it's gold. Whatever KO does, it's gold. Cody. If he had some people to tango with, like a good partner, he does well. Like uh, the the PLE and um, that country with AJ, the second match was just you know, in, yeah, in France. Backlash, the backlash, yeah, the, France. Yep. Leo, the crowd was Leo. amazing. The match was great. The everything, right. the camera angles, it was just you know that's what you want. This is what I want, you know. And KO, yeah. I think leaning towards a heel maybe will help. Maybe will help Cody turn heel i don't know what's going to happen and there's a lot of things that could happen it, it could be cody said f you i don't want to deal with you and then cody turns heel and ko we thought oh my god ko he was going to turn heel and now he's a face and it's like well not a face he's still whatever but you know what i mean like there's right. so many things you can do with this with this situation it's just like this is what cody needs give it to me you know all right yeah Take it away, brother. What do you got? I, I honestly, I don't have, I don't have too, too much more to add to it because you, 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 you got it all. You nailed it. Um, absolutely buying this. Uh, love it. I, I love everything and anything Ko has done yeah. or will do, most likely. Uh, you know, um, and it's been really good. Just the way that it was executed is like as well. Like I'm obviously, you know, you put Ko in a start a Ko program with like nice. almost anybody. Exactly. It's total bias. I'm not going <laughs> to deny that. It's total bias. You can start start a program with KO versus like yeah. anybody and I'm I'm going to be invested. I will find the way to invest myself enough into it. Um you know, but this one also just the way that it was done has been perfect, like in my opinion, because it's been like he's his friend but like they weren't and like they had their match at um whatever that one was like they had their match when he was like nah like we're friends i don't want to fight you and cody's like no you yeah. earned it you're gonna fight me and that whole back and forth oh yes yes. and then yes. like you know there was like the tease and building up to that but he's like no like you know we're gonna do this right and he played by the rules and da, 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 da. and then it was almost like kind of the way like randy's was where it was just like you're teaming with roman like i'm done with this now i'm not playing this game anymore you're in yeah. the wrong and it's <clears throat> you know not to be too much more biased with it. I just, I so much, lo- I, I like heel KO much more than say. face KO. Love. I like, I like a heel KO way more than I like a face KO. Um, so this is, I love you. Exactly. Sorry. 
So this is presumably him. He's going to be the heel in this, and that's great for me. Um, and he's because he's the best. He's he's so much better as a heel than a face to me. And to me, in this kind of role that he's in, he's a justified heel. And just the way that it was, where it wasn't done, yeah. this wasn't like any WWE cameras, or allegedly it wasn't. Maybe it was, and it was a plant that did it or whatever. But like allegedly. it was fan. It was like fan cam footage. Yeah. That like sold this oh, whole yeah. thing off like it was it was just like somebody Allegedly. somebody maybe it could have been somebody who worked for wwe and if it is the case Fake more news. more power to them like that it wasn't like an actual fan it was like you know it was an employee totally who did it that way because it like it just like you had said like it just kind of helps build like the realism almost like more of it like it wasn't like this like planned angle where you're seeing yeah. it's perfect this way and all like, the nonsense like it was just kind of like they're both in street clothes too. Like I don't even think Cody was in like his suit at that point. Like it was the end of the night. He was just going to his van and whatever. Ko was in his gear. Let's and, be honest. <laughs> but Ko's gear is his street clothes. Yeah. It's just he, had, he had sleeves on. That means it's his street clothes. He is yeah. sleeveless for his gear. Good point. There was there was sleeves on that T-shirt, so he was in street clothes. <laughs> like you know. But yeah. So like yeah, yeah like it this. just it it worked. Yeah. It worked. The build worked. Justification behind it works. It's yeah. going to be great. I hope they get a nice, good series out of this. You know, yeah. I want yeah, to see this, like a, I want to see more than one match to it. These are the kind of things I love. What Trips do does because you wouldn't see this with Vince. It's like it's got to be on TV because we need the ratings. You know, like it's just little things like this that um, you fall in love with. It's like okay, I dig it. You know, he's using social media. He's understanding the concept of what to do and. You know, again, when you put these two guys together, it's it's going to be great. It's going to be perfect. Let's get into the junk drawer. Let's get to the next topic here. This mm -hmm. one's going to be fun. Let's do it. Yeah, like... All right. Buy or sell two hour Raws. Gates, just like with anything that's brand new, what do you do? You're working the kinks. I think that's what they're doing right now. Mm -hmm. I love it. Uh, I see more women. I see less backstage blah. You know, I, I don't see any of that. We do get more um, talking segments with bad news and uh, Tessa tour. So that I, 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 I'm not a big fan of, I love Barrett. I think Joe's doing a great job, but um, mm -hmm. it's just, you, you, you work the kinks, you figure it out. And yep. I think that's what they're doing. They're saying, you know, could we do this on Netflix and sell with, you know, uh, a different rating, not PG. Could this happen? Um, I think it could. It's just it's brand new. You know, right. we haven't seen a Raw two hours and God knows how long. You don't know what to do. So you work in the kinks. You're seeing what we need to do to get things on a lot more commercials. I'll, I'll say that, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to buy it. And the past two Mondays, I'm watching it and I'm like, is it 10 o'clock? Oh, 9.59, it's over. And I haven't done that before. It's always like... Yeah, exactly. Whatever. I mean, why am I still watching this? I got work tomorrow. It's almost 10.30. What am I doing, you know? So you, you got it. I guess you don't have to buy it, but I'm going to buy it just because two hours is easy to watch, oh, yeah. you know? You know? I'm buying yeah. it, buddy. What do you got? I'm right there with you. This is a, this is a hard buy for me. Um, it's uh, I think I could be wrong. Justin will let us know. Um, if he still watches. Oh, he's definitely still watching. We've said Justin's name every single episode. He's not once said anything. So I don't know. <laughs> Justin. Text us. Help us. us. Help yeah. us. What is um, this? Anyway. Who yeah, is this? I'm pretty yeah, sure. But I'm pretty sure it's. I'm pretty sure the two hours is only from now until they start on Netflix. And I think it goes back to three hours on Netflix, which is unfortunate. And SmackDown goes and three hours, right? I, uh, I don't know. Oh, that would be real yeah. bad if that's the case. That's Just too it. much. It's too much if that's the case. But either way, uh, while, it, while it's two hours, I'm absolutely buying it. I agree with you. There's some kinks to work out. They got to like get it all kind of straightened out with yeah. what it needs to be. Um, but it's just for us as like the fans, like you, like you just kind of said there at the end, like, it's just so much, it's like much, much, much more, much more digestible. Like it's That's easier to digest. It's easy yep. to just kind of like, you know, like, all right, I can pop this on at eight, two hours in and out, done and done. Boom. You know, and it's not like trying to like justify to yourself, like, all right, well, yeah, 
I can stay up to 11 tonight and blah, blah, blah. like, no, I'm old at this point. If I stay up to 11, it's, it's pretty miserable. You yeah. know, I'm already like worrying. I'm, I'm going to a, an Eagles night game in like two weeks that I'm going to be like, Oh man, Monday's yeah. gonna work to work the next day. It's gonna be miserable. I'm going to have no voice and I'm going to be super tired because I'm old and I need, I need sleep. By the time I get out of there, it's going to be way too late. And you know, yeah, it sucks. So I'm all for it. Uh, I, yeah. I hope that I hope I wish they were keeping it, but I don't think they will. So um, what's the deal then? If they're going to go to three hours, what's the point? I, it's right? something to do. I, I don't remember what it was. I just I remember when the report was and made. They only have five hours on it's Raw. Or on to, USA? Yeah, it's something. I don't know. It might have to do with like the what MLB the USA like playoffs have? or something. I don't know, man. I don't. Right? I don't like, know. That's like the craziest thing is I don't even yeah. watch like real TV. I all I do is DVR stuff. I don't yeah. sit right. and watch like Keep TV. It down. Yeah, really, man. Cats are messing around down there. Cats. Anyway, in the um, yeah, yeah. I don't like watch normal TV. I, like I DVR like all the wrestling that I need to, that I want to watch, and yeah. like we DVR like Jeopardy. Otherwise, well, it's like Mickey Mouse, yeah. Sesame Street, or Bluey that's running constantly. It's all those subscriptions, huh? Uh-huh. Exactly. Uh-huh. That's right. All right. Let's get to the next topic here. <laughs> L.A. Knight. Yeah. Love it. Buy or sell his title reign. I mean, for me, I'm selling it. Or Jesus, sorry. Scratch that. <laughs> buying it because it's not just about L.A. Knight. It's about the mid-card division mm-hmm. on SmackDown that's kicking ass. I mean, even I'm invested in Andrade. What? Say that again? Yeah. I'm invested in Andrade. I love it. And then what they're doing with Melo, perfection. I mean, it's just, I, I think I bought every single one. Jay Uso, The Rock. No. No, I we sold, sold The Rock. Sold the rock. <laughs> Damn right we did. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I'm I'm buying this. It's just, he's great. He's, he's phenomenal. He's just inside the ring. He's great. Outside of the ring, he's great. You know, if you're going to nitpick, and we do that often, but you could nitpick and say he's, he's not the greatest wrestler, it doesn't matter. does not matter. That's not what I'm buying. I'm buying the idea of uh, the mid-card division just, you know, being as great as it is right now. And it's yep. just so entertaining. I couldn't think of the right word. I was trying to think of excelling, but not, that's not it. It's just elevating. I don't know, but it's yep. just... It's it's great. I love it, and it makes uh, a, a two hour Raw or SmackDown on Friday um, so much more enjoyable. It's just it's great. Totally, I love it. Keep doing it. Keep doing more of it. I don't know where you go next, you know, but I guess that's 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 what I'm buying too. So I'm buying it, baby. Keith, what do you got? Yeah, I don't want to be too boring, but I'm I'm gonna buy this one too, obviously, because it's my guy. Um, I think my my only concern with it at all is kind of like you said, is like I, it's like, I don't know where, where it goes, like who he loses it to. Um, yeah. But it is, I, I'm, it's, I'm glad that it's back so that there can be more, there is more of a focus on that mid card, like you said. Um, Cause yeah. like when Logan, when Logan had it, it was like, you know, yeah. he would show up around like pay-per-view times, maybe be on a couple episodes of Raw or whatever, on SmackDown yeah. here or there and stuff. But like, it was never he bring it. Yeah, he wasn't there enough to like have it be this constant thing to like let your mid card go. And then like, you know, we had a mid card, but like, you know, when you're when the per, when like the when the mid card area that you're like the the, the mid card like prize that's the word I'm looking for here. Like when the mid card prize that you're working toward is like barely there it's almost like this intangible because the guy's like sort of there sort of not all the time then it's like it's hard to stay invested in all that stuff but yeah. like you have la now he's there every week he's showing yeah. you constantly what's going on he's bringing up he's he's made he's starting to bring mellow back to what nxt mellow was which is jesus yeah. christ thank god um he's making andrade uh, andrade interesting uh, oh, outside God. of just like, you know, LWO, Legato del Fantasma, like feuding and stuff. But like, oh, I, yeah. I even want them involved. I would love to see Santos get involved yeah. again. Um, I like that other know, guy that jumps off the, the, the ropes a lot. Joaquin Wild. Joaquin, the DJ Joaquin from Wild. Impact. Yeah, DJZ. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Zima, yeah. Uh, Chima, Zima Ion for those really old school ROH fans. Um, yeah. Kyle, huh? Up but uh, that's right. He doesn't, he doesn't so, uh, watch you. <laughs> no way. He doesn't watch us. <laughs> He's we the got man. the millions um, and tens of millions and dozens. Um, 
Yeah. Great. <laughs> I love it. Um, yeah. It's just, it's, it's, it's doing well. He's doing well. He's more present than Logan was. So it's just bringing the mid card up, which is all you really want out of that kind of title. And it's helping him build credibility to be like a legitimate challenger to go after, you know, yeah, Cody or, you know what I mean? Like, or, or Gunther or whatever mm-hmm. and the, down the line, even though yeah. I don't necessarily know that I want him beating either one of those for that title, but still it's less of a shock to see. It's less of a shock now yeah. that he's like getting this under his belt and everything pun intended. Like it's less of a shock for him getting this stuff Ooh. under his belt to see him challenge Gunther in the future. <laughs> than it was when it was just like, Oh, Saudi Arabia. Oh, LA Knight versus Roman. It was just like, yeah. All right, like I'm all for it, but you yeah. know he is losing now. Like you absolutely yeah. know LA is going to lose that match. There's no if, that ands, or buts ends. about it. Right. But what so would be now he like has the singles title. He can, you know, if I if he was challenging Cody, it'd be like, yeah, okay. Yeah. I doubt it, but like, maybe, you know what it is now? He's still getting the reactions, you know? Yeah. At the end of the day, it's Nick Aldis. He's running a great show. He is, friend of the channel. At the end of the day, it's it's him. You know, that's why that's right. we love. That's why Smackdown. GMs are important. L.A. Knight. Yeah. Keith, buying and selling. We're back, baby. Let's go. Keith, give the people what they want. How can they find you? You already know. I am on TikTok and X at Keith of the Ring. And then I'm on Instagram at underscore Keith of the Ring. Yes, sir. We're back and better than ever. Not really we are. the same people. We just, you know, in a basement and, you know, doing Screw things up with a little. life. But we do appreciate it. We we come on here because, yeah, hey, yeah. we love to talk wrestling, but we also want to entertain. We like you. We love you. We want you to listen. We want you to watch. We want you to interact. Please do. Keith, we yes. got a fancy website, uwpod.com. You can find us there on Twitter, TikTok, What's Up Doc, a- anywhere. Just go to YouTube. Or excuse me, go to uwpod.com and you'll find everything. Videos, audio, our social handles, our social links. So uh, again, we appreciate it. We're back, baby. Have a great night. If you're watching this during the morning, have a good morning. If you're watching it during the afternoon, you know, have a good afternoon. If you're watching it after a good night, wink, wink. Yeah, baby. I don't know why you would be watching it. Good for you. Peace.